hey everyone welcome back to our channel today in this video we are going to show you how to monitor your fps cpu gpu and ram uses while playing games so if you are curious about keep an eye on your system's performance make sure to stick around till the end let's get started please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button Before we jump into the monitoring process, let's quickly introduce MSI Afterburner. It's a powerful utility primarily used for overclocking graphics cards, but it also offers a robust monitoring feature. It's a free software, you can download it from the official website. Open your preferred browser on your computer, then type MSI Afterburner into the search bar. Now the official URL for this website is going to be msi.com. You can see the afterburner that shows up on the main screen. Just click on the download button. It will start downloading the package installer. Once the download is complete, open the download folder and you can see it's in chip format. So at first we have to extract the zip folder. Now open the MSI Afterburner package installer, select the language you prefer to use, I'm leaving it as the default, then click on the next button, here you have to accept the user agreement to continue the installation. Select component option, leave it as default but make sure revert toner is checked. Actually revert toner shows you computer data live while gaming and it pops up in the corner as a screen display. Click on the next button. It will start installing the afterburner tool and then next it will install the revert toner. I'm first forwarding the video to reduce the video length. Finally, MSI Afterburner launch in our computer. On the dashboard, it displays information as well as you can customize the fan speed, CPU and GPU capacity. Now click on the settings button, then navigate to the monitoring tab. Here you can choose what components you want to monitor, such as FPS, CPU uses, GPU uses, and RAM uses. Simply check the box next to each one. You should uncheck the extra components that you don't need and it will prevent unwanted errors. You can also set CPU and GPU properties, just select CPU uses, then under the section of graph limits, check both overmide graph name, then set the overmide graph name as your CPU name, such as my one is Ryzen 5 3600, same way switch to GPU and check both overmide graph name and set your GPU name. Click on apply button to save all the changes, then OK. Now let's set up the on-screen display to see the real-time steps while gaming. Click on the on-screen display, you will find this option in the taskbar. You can customize the appearance of the OST by choosing a font, size, position and color. To customize font size, just move the bar of screen display zoom left to right. If you want to change the position, just click and hold the number move and place it to your desired position leave other option as a default nothing to do with this option when everything is set up let's launch a game and see what's happened while in game you will see the osd showing your fps cpu gpu and ram uses it will definitely help you to understand your system performance if you found this video is useful please like and subscribe to our channel no more today see you in the next video